Hey you guys, headed down to Blum, Texas, going on a solo camping mission, do some meditation, catch some fish for you guys to see. Uh, I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, put out my tent tonight, or, damn it, I haven't decided if I'm going to put out my tent tonight or sleep in the truck. Uh, I brought my tent, brought my heater, my, my buddy heater. Pretty much got everything. I forgot a freaking lighter, so I won't be able to start me a fire unless I stop at a store and buy one. I don't have any fire starting equipment. I'm going to gear up for this drive and catch you guys down by the water. First stop, I need to try to catch some bait. I've reached the campgrounds and I'm still chasing bait. The, the water is particularly low. I was informed that the water was up, but that was some misinformation. I'll get my bucket again. Man, I can't wait to get out here on my kayak. It's calm and nice. I'm definitely gonna land into some fish today. Just gotta get me some bait. Man, this water is way low. Usually, I can walk out on this and cast my net and get bait from right here. You usually see a snake strolling through here. At night, and this water is like creepy low. There's a guard carcass right there. At any rate, let me try to catch some bait. So, the plan is gonna be to kayak for a couple of hours, do some bass fishing, uh, scout the water levels, and uh, come back in before it gets dark, and do some bank fishing, go out, drop my lines out deep in the water, I'm doing some fishing today, y'all. Actually, I'm drinking this nasty beer from we had a Pong party last night. And I'm drinking this nasty beer from that because it didn't, didn't a lot of people drink it. So I got leftover and I got to drink it because we don't waste beer in this family.
So the sun is setting. I got my rods out. And I have a laundry list of things to do. I actually got to uh, get, I got to check and make sure that my buddy heater is, my big buddy heater is working before I pitch the tent. Because I don't want to pitch the tent and then end up the, the heater ain't working. Uh, I want to get the tent pitched before it gets dark. So I best be getting off this camera talking to you guys and get to work. Well, we got the heater going. I guess it's time to pitch this tent. I'm definitely running out of daylight though. Well... Also, I got my headlight in this nifty hat because it's starting to get a little chilly. You know what I'm saying? Just swag it out. Anyway, also I got my headlight. So I got my headlight. I don't want to blind y'all, but I got my headlight. Oh, man, it's a full moon, guys. Look at that. I got my headlight and a nice hat. Keep my head warm. Go ahead and pitch this tent. I'm I'm really working with way too much tent for one man, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I might have to give me a smaller tent for when I come out and do these solo missions. This one's this one is for uh, stuff and junk. My youth organization. Whenever I bring the kids out camping. Oh snap! I also got to get firewood so that I can stay warm on the outside and also cook my sausages all right fishing fam let's take a look at how i'm living like i said too much tent for just little old me got my propane tank got my big buddy heater i got my body pillow and my sleeping bag now, I got all this space in here. It's like a little apartment. Let me turn my light on. I got all this space in here, no furniture. I brought an air mattress, but I left my inverter so I, I can't use the pump to air it up. And I don't have a manual pump or else I just pump it up by hand. So I'm just gonna sleep on my body pillow in my sleeping bag, nice and comfy, whatever. Got my fire going, starting to pick up now. Got some wet logs on top of there, so hopefully they'll start to sizzling and drying out pretty soon. It's about 11 p.m. Had a few bites. Haven't caught any fish yet. Um, a lot of activity on the water. Um, I, what I'm going to do now, though, sleeping. I just lay down in my sleeping bag. And I'm going to cozy up. I might read a book. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's important to do some reading and reflecting, you know. Better yourself, you know. Good morning, folks. It is 5.35 a.m. I woke up at 5 o'clock. Took me about 35 minutes to get the tent knocked down. Got the truck loaded up. Got the kayak on the truck. Caught this little guy right here overnight. Around, right around midnight, I think. Probably about 12.30. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pull my truck back up the hill out of the riverbed. Since the water's so low, I camped down in the riverbed, but I'm pulling my truck back up the hill out of this sucker. So in case it does rain, I won't be stuck in here. If it don't, I'm gonna sit up there with my rod still out in the water behind me. I'm gonna sit up there. Well, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn around and face him. But at any rate, when I get parked up there, I'm gonna take some sausages down fry them up on my campfire that's dying out on me and I'm gonna have some breakfast 
and then we wait. You know, on second thought, I might just take my chair back down and post up next to the rod so I can hear if my bells ring and enjoy some breakfast. I don't know. Anyway, I won't be doing much more recording until daybreak anyway, and that's when I'll be able to make a decision on what I'm actually going to end up doing. So, now we wait. Finally on. We finally get on a fish today, but folks. And it's a punk ass car. Wasn't expecting to see one. Dang, I hooked him right in his nose real good too. Dang. The hook penetrated on him. Okay, dude, be still. We got a spotted gar today. Spotted guard on the spoon. Was not expecting that. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this damn thing out of his mouth without poking myself on his teeth. I don't got no player pliers. I do a nope in the truck. Whatever you do, don't bite me. Oh yeah, there you go. He released the hook on his own. Uh, I felt good to get a bite on. Unfortunately, he wasn't the fish I was looking for. He ate it though. <laughs> Not one bit. I, I haven't seen him for a while. I, I didn't expect to see any guard this time of year. I said I caught that guard on a spoon, I think is what I said. I meant to say a rooster. <clears throat> Fish finally done, GoPro done. Not catching any fish. Sinking in this mud. Fuck. I got a. Well, so that's pretty much a wrap, fam. As you can see, my GoPro battery died. My fish finder battery died. Heck, all my batteries died. Boots got wet just before it died. So, you know, as y'all can see, it got soaked. My, I don't have an extra pair of socks. I'm just out of there. But uh, I guess that sign's telling me it's time to get on up out of here. It's saying it's time to go.